Hey everyone, I'm Masood, one of the founders of Rafa, and we're going after LinkedIn's lunch money. In order to do that, we started our beachhead. We built a contextual recruiting platform that understands context and captures culture fit and hard skills from applicants without conducting a phone screen. Let's take a look at Tejas, for example. He's a founder of Dementia.dev. He raised a couple million bucks, so you already know what that means he needed to hire. And just like every founder that's on this panel and in your portfolio decided to pull software off the shelf, in this case being Ashby, he posted two jobs and ran into the qualifying problem. He received over thousands of applications between inbound and outbound. His team was pulled away from what they do best, which is building, ended up reviewing the wrong resume, it, scheduling the wrong call and meeting the wrong person just to have a uh, less than 2% pass rate. So he decided to make a change and use Rafa instead. Let me show how it works. So when he creates a job, he's able to add the burning questions up front. In this case, why do you want to work at Dementia.dev? He can also ask technical, behavioral, candidate discovers it via their career page or job board. And then for the very first time, is able to go above and beyond the LinkedIn's and the resumes and speak to their merits. And since hiring is a team sport, his team of 10 was able to build consensus at step zero, reviewing and listening to the transcript and summaries. And the result, they were able to decrease spam applications by 98%. Increase the pass rate by 50%. They skipped the first and second call and were able to save 60 hours a week. The 100 billion data moat that's being formed in front of you is a contextual recruiting network that is able to index every working professional's story and get them connected with opportunities better than LinkedIn or any other of the bigger players. Tages is not the only one, though. We launched our uh, public beta in February. We're doing over 6K in MRR, 200 com companies on trial. We have been growing 35% month over month. We actually onboarded Fortune 10 and Fortune 50 enterprise companies on pilot. We've conducted over 10,000 phone screens, transcribed over 20,000 minutes of audio, and created over uh, 600, 800 plus jobs. ICP, startups, agency recruiters, this is for Katie. We also, as you can see, going for enterprise. Initial GTM motion has been good old ice cold outbound, just the way I like it. And also founder-led marketing, led by me. The way we make money now and the way we make more money later is 200 bucks a month, $10 per seat. Enterprise would be paying us $2,000 a month per seat to access our sourcing capabilities. And yes, your AI agent and AI recruiter will be sourcing on top of us and paying us instead of LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a one-dimensional company. Roth is a three-dimensional company. Instead of paying $20,000 for a LinkedIn recruiter seat, you're paying a fraction of the cost and getting more results. We've been building products for over 40 plus years. I was a design lead at Meta. Moonlighter recruiter for eight plus years. So I've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly. My counterpart, Marcel, technically at Cloud Kitchen, Salesforce, Yahoo, and Amazon. He got all the logos. And that's us. Happy to answer your questions. Thanks, Masood. Stu, you're up. Question for Masood. Um, really cool, really interesting, very, very busy space. Uh, how do you mm -hmm. differentiate? All right. And back around to you, Gary. Um, I'm sorry if I miss this, but are you selling? Is it B2C and B2B on the sales flow? So maybe you could just explain that piece to me. Two minutes sure. soon. Real quick, Gary, uh, since this is a pretty fast one, it's been BDB. Uh, so startups, agency, uh, agency recruiters, as well as enterprise, they've been finding us through inbound and outbound channels. So as you can see, like if you go on our, uh, funny enough, LinkedIn, Twitter, or anywhere else, I'm always selling. And that's usually how people find us. So just like to nip that in. And as for Stu, when it comes to the space, um, you're seeing a lot of AI recruiters coming out. You're seeing a lot of noise. Uh, to kind of educate everyone, hiring and recruiting tools were actually pretty bad before AI. The human processes were actually way more distant as it should be. And with the introduction of AI, uh, all of a sudden recruiting has become only transactional. And the person's sentiment stories and what makes this uh, process good, which is a human element, has been disappearing. And so the way we win here is just by candidate experience. We get candidates day in, day out, DM us, e emailing us. And we even have customers saying that in the first 10 seconds of the audio recording to our interview question, they're saying, thank you for giving me the platform to tell my story. And on top of that, since recruiting is becoming transactional in the AI world, candidates will want to use our platform companies will want to use our platform because your brand becomes everything. Your recruiting process is a window into how you manage your company. And so companies have been loving us. And that's kind of like how we win here is having a good uh, candidate experience, having a good company experience. And on top of that, we create our own data set. You remove the mask for every AI recruiter. It's going to be web crawlers, web scrapers, and LinkedIn and old stale resumes from LinkedIn, uh, Indeed.